Hello everyone, Jill here. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to a uh, Cherry on Top YouTube Hop. And we are at the beginning of the month of September, Labor Day weekend right now for us. And um, it is um, a, a really great theme for me. The theme for this month is creative chaos. And so I'm like already like grooving on it. But um, I wanted to work in my scrapbook journal because I'm actually like kind of working toward a style or curious about a style with lots of uh, flip offs, lots of tip ins, lots of little like interactive elements and also a kind of casualness because it is a notebook. And um, I've been doing this for a little while. You've probably seen some of these on Instagram. They're just, it's like, for me, it's like scrap, it's in the mode of scrapbook journaling. So it doesn't have to be like, you can have a couple different stories on one page or even more, you can kind of capture your week um, or you can just focus on one theme. But what I've been liking is uh, because it's a fairly small format, adding in, uh, as I said, things that flip up. This is a good example, right? So you want to include more journaling. You just want to have a little bit more embellishment. You just like the, the way it feels um, when you flip through and you have to like flip things in and out. So that's the, that's the kind of um, style that I'm working with um, in one kind of scrapbooking that I'm doing. And I thought I'd do a video about it and work on a page that I want to be like very layered, very much full, like even these little tiny flip ups, I think are really interesting. So, um, so let's create some chaos together. And I went ahead and got started because I wanted to, I want to like pile on a lot of layers and I might not actually go completely where I want to go by the end of the video, but you'll get a really good idea, I think, of how this style works and how you um, like go with the flow, go with the chaos. Um, there are a few things that are really great for this style. So let me talk about uh, products first. Um, washi tape is really good for like holding down things that are going to flip up so you know grab your washi stash if you're going to do this kind of this kind of thing um i don't know if you have any pet tape that is on th this page i use a little bit of pet tape it's just a kind of a plastic tape but you can use different kinds of stickers i'm sure in this way but i wanted to like put down the photograph of me and then add the pe tape over it just for like a layer already before we even start piling things on um yeah and then another thing i'll talk about is i've been using transparent post-it notes and uh stamping on them with white stays on ink oops upside down bear and um and so i'm going to be demonstrating that a little bit not so much the stamping because it's just exactly like any kind of stamping but you do it on something transparent that takes the ink well and then you just have a really subtle but cool uh chance to do an overlay by plopping that post-it note down in fact i think this one i don't know let me take a colored paper um this is there are a couple um echo park stamps in uh, a cherry on tops shop unless they're sold out i haven't checked um that do the winnie the pooh theme i know they also have some christmas ones and so at any rate this is this is like a background stamp of winnie the pooh in the forest and piglet's house and everything else so um i find it like really charming and that's going to be um the focus of this page is is randomness right so you have some cranes it says create then on top you slap this winnie the pooh's forest but you get the idea that when people like look through the notebook or when you go back to it, you just have a lot of visual interest, a lot of layers, a lot of things to um, to think about and look at. Um, so we'll come back to that because I have one more of those. Um, and I also printed photos. Well, this is uh, um, this is one of me because I, I'm talking about like end of the summer and things for fall and like a fresh new haircut. Um, which is one of the things I put in my journaling, um, last of summer reading, roses, politics, <laughs> and um, all the things that are going on right now. And um, so I just typed that on clear sticker paper on my typewriter and popped it in here. Um, I got a thumb mark on it. So warning, don't grasp it in the middle when after you're done. Uh, but that's okay. Again, adds to the creative chaos. Um, okay. And I, so I thought 
this obviously is a flip up. I, I guess I wanted to emphasize the, the little photo collages add to the creative energy or give you again a lot to look at, maybe in an overwhelming way, but that's kind of the point of this style. Um, okay, and then I wanted this to flip, so I already put it in there, and then I'll have this flip so that it flips up. And I'll say a little bit about the paper that I'm using. It's from Graphic 49. I think I have the number right. I don't know. Maybe it's not 49. 59? Graphic? Anyway, you know the, the brand, um, and I'll link it. It'll be linked in the, the gallery for ACOT. But at any rate, it had this like really uh, art-related paper with boxes I could cut out. That kind of paper, I'll be using one more piece from it. That kind of paper is absolutely perfect for this kind of page. In part because it, it can be cut down easily into smaller segments um, and it layers well. And uh, yeah, so I was just like really happy to remember I had it and had been hoarding it. So now it will be in my in my scrapbook. Um, okay, so, so those are some of the products. Little labels are really great too. So I pulled some small vintage labels. Also these little Tim Holtz snippets. He's got a new snippet stamp set too that you could um, play with. And I was actually thinking, and I'll probably do this off camera, but because this will flip up and it'll give me more space, I think I'm gonna do some stamping and some texture stamping under here. I had one thing in mind to like pop under there too. I guess it was this square, because I've loved these Vicki Booten um, picnic blanket or whatever the paper's called, squares, and I've been using them on everything and I'm kind of using up the end of that piece of paper. So I thought uh, I would, when it flips up, this will be under there too, and I'll do a little stamping and add some things that are, you know, small touch kinds of details. But let's put the big pieces of the page together um, now. And um, oh, one other thing I wanted to mention, these come in all different forms, um, and I'm sure you can find a similar thing on, in the shop, but one thing that this people who create in this style, a lot, a lot of like Asian scrapbookers, um, they tend to use sticky dots as um, like a little bit like washi, washi tape except round so it gives like a little sense of a bulletin board with a thumbtack or something like that I guess is how I'd describe it but I really like that idea and I found in my stash these fairly neutral ones that I think will be good on this page um, and then I stamp the date because the date is kind of important for this entry because it's end of summer so August 31st on this vintage label and I'll just stick that down probably someplace in this quadrant but uh, let's work on this part first. And I've already, I did a stamped um, Tim Holtz stamp. This is an older butterfly stamp. Um, and used a little scrap of paper. Um, and I've got it on ledger. And then these are from a Simple Story sticker book, the uh, tab labels. But any kind of tab I think is really great on something that you're going to lift up and you're going to guide the viewer to lifting it this way, right? Because this lifts this way. And ultimately, I could maybe put something on here too. There's just, I don't have a lot of space. So that's why I haven't really done that. But I'm just going to take some washi tape. The kind of washi tape I like for lifting things up um, typically is kind of neutral and a little bit translucent. Um, and that's because, you know, you don't know necessarily what you want to do here. It, it just depends. I've actually used all different kinds of washi, but that's what I'm kind of in the mood to do today. So this is just a, sorry, it's going to be a little bit persnickety. So I'm going to go over here. And of course, when you're doing the flip ups, you want the tape to just go as far as the paper. And um, you might worry that it's like not strong enough and every, everything, but when you see these online, they, they are adhered very lightly. And um, you know, if, if, you, if you want more adhesive and so forth, you can do that. But for this, and, and I did a little bit more for this, I actually glued a, you know, a, a strip of the background paper. Um, okay, I want that to be a little bit straighter or something. I've got this area at the top. Okay, I'm not gonna get too fancy with it. That's the other thing of doing it lightly is you can always like readjust it as you, you know, look at how it works. But you get the idea, right? And um, then this will flip up and I'm gonna go ahead and adhere this, but I'll probably adhere it lightly because I think I'm gonna do some stamping 
and uh, other kinds of embellishing and kind of offset the two squares. And then there's this square down here. So I think when it flips up, it looks cool, but it's also necessary to flip this up before you can flip this up. And I really like that. I like the way like one leads to the other. Um, yeah, and um, I'm really happy to cover up my own face, <laughs> but it'll be there to look at. So I'll remember like what I'm looking like at this point. But I, I kind of like this style of scrapbooking for that reason, too. You can keep keep some things like less front and center, but still on your page. I'm trying to think what will work here. I'm going over a photograph. So I'll see what I mean about like a neutral washi is good. Um, but you want it to be like wide enough, too. Um, I think I'll just go with this kind I used last time with a little flower design, but otherwise very neutral. Okay, so you just kind of, I like to just kind of put it along the edge and uh, start there and then you can stick it on to your project from there. And uh, to get it to flip nicely, you want just a tiny bit of space between the edge of the page and the card. And I'm not too, too fussy about that. And things can stick out. I already have ribbons and things sticking out of my notebook. Um, yeah, you kind of have to, if you go with this style, be willing to embrace the craziness. Um, okay, then going back to the idea of transparent things. Um, I loved these too. These are uh, from an earlier Vicki Booten line. And they're little slide squares with colorful, transparent. Now, I'm probably going to staple this um, because that's another thing that I think adds interest, various kinds of staples and stitches and tape. And, um, and then on top of that, I'm going to, this is another thing I stamped on white this from the Winnie the Pooh set. This is from the other set with the images of the characters. So that's going to go on top of that. And my little label is going to get stuck down here. And since I already added this PET tape, we've already got some, some action going on in this more plain non-flip up part. Um, I, I stamped another Tim Holtz butterfly. <clears throat> and then for my finishing touches, obviously, I'll have some sequins. I brought some down. These are called Wimbledon. I think these are the ones I'm going to use on this page. Um, and then these little Tim Holtz pieces, the little snippets, and these circular dots, um, which I'll just sprinkle, let me try one, um, I think like down here at the bottom. It just, it just adds a cool little touch, especially when there are several on the page and your eye goes to them and your eye moves around the page. I also love the Tim Holtz um, uh paper edges, whatever they're called. Um, and so I might run one. I thought about kind of running one vertically, like right here. So anyway, there you go. There's my creative um, chaos for sure, but also something that's very really colorful and lots of fun and lots uh, to interest anyone looking at it. And especially because it's very tactile and interactive. So I hope you enjoyed this, and I'm really looking forward to seeing the chaos of my fellow design team members, and I hope you are too. So leave a comment here, and then below um, in my uh, description, you'll see the list of people to hop along to in the um, YouTube hop, and if you leave a comment on each, you get a chance to win stork credit at a cherry on top. Thanks for joining me. Bye.